Okay, so everyone wants to take on, on H7, that's understandable, but uh, a few of you, oh, I think, made the wrong first move already, right? Because if we do Rook H7, it looks so obvious, so nice, checkmate so quickly. But of course, he's going King G8, and then what, right? So we have to make sure we don't miss that, because here we actually might be losing, right? There's, we don't have actually a very good check here. Uh, so there is, we have to play Bishop takes H7. Now, this is not the end of the story, but the good news for Wesley is that for Bishop H7 is a fairly safe move because Rook takes F4 is basically forced. There's really nothing else here. And now we have all these Bishop discoveries and we're fairly sure we have at least a draw here. But this is where it actually gets very tricky. Um, and uh, this is where Wesley made a mistake. So let's see what you, so somebody wrote bishop f5, someone wrote, um, and someone wrote bishop d3, okay. And someone says queen e7. Uh, which is actually, well, it's something similar to what Wesley played. Okay, um, so bishop d3 and rook g5. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so if we go bishop f5, king g8, uh, there is no easy follow-up, right? It looks like king g7, but king g7, of course, nobody will play because then queen e7 is going to be just lead to mate. Um, and the problem with this line for white is that the bishop now hangs, right? And we could take it, of course, but then he starts checking us. And uh, like even queen g6, knight c2. Yeah, then we lose our momentum and we might even end up losing this. So we have to be very careful. <clears throat> so bishop d3 is the correct move. Okay, so bishop d3. So what can black do? King g8 or king g7? Well, king g8 is kind of forced because king g7, queen e7 is made in a few moves. So king g8 is more or less forced. Now we go rook g5. Mm, if king f7, then we go queen g6. And if king h8, what's the follow-up then? 